Howdy everybody, today I would like to share with you guys a very interesting story. It is also a very encouraging story that would somehow encourage you if you are experiencing the same thing right now. Um, it is actually a story when I ruptured my eardrum and how it has grown back. Alright, so is it possible for a ruptured eardrum to actually heal by itself or to grow by itself? Well, it happened to me. Okay, so everything happened last year. So that was like the 9th of January 2019. That was like a week after we celebrated New Year. My, you could imagine that. That was actually the saddest time of my life. It was the time when I literally cried a bucket. That was Wednesday then. I was uh, preparing to go to school. It was 9 o'clock and I had to be in school at 9.30. So just imagine I've got only like 20 minutes to be in school. So I was multitasking. I showered. I, after showering, I, I wrapped my, you know, my hair with a towel and I was doing my face and I thought of cleaning my ear at the time. So I got a Q-tip and I was cleaning my ear at the time when I thought of, yeah, what about applying some eye drops as well? So. When I got the eye drop, I, yeah, I left that Q-tip inside my ear. And I was about to do that. Of course, you had to look up to, to put some eye drops. And while I was doing that one, the towel on my head fell off. All right. And what is the most natural thing that we do when something is falling? We try to get it. All right. We try to grab it. So I was like trying to grab it with my right hand and accidentally I push that q-tip that is already in my ear at the time I don't know how it happened but I pressed it really really hard and before I knew it I was already screaming and I threw everything that I was holding at the time even the towel that I was trying to save I threw it away that was really really painful the pain was awful at the time I was just holding my ear went to the bed and just tried to rest try to i don't know how how i was doing at the time i can't help it it was really really painful but you know what after a few minutes like less than 10 minutes the pain stopped and i was like oh it has stopped so i think everything is okay i th i think i just hurt a little bit but i noticed something that i cannot hear well with my ear already so i think i think that was part of it when you hurt your eardrum so i prepared anyway went to school of course i was late when i went to school and i told the story and somebody told me that hey sally you have to see the doctor after work today and i said yes sure okay so um you know while we were having the meeting i realized you know i felt like something's coming out from my right ear when i hold it it was blood so i thought that wow i think i really really need to see the doctor so i called my friend and i told her that hey i need some help I need to go to this hospital and uh, of course I need a translator. Not all doctors in China then can speak English so I needed a translator then. So my friend came at 5 o'clock, we went to the hospital, it's good, the doctors were still there. So we had a checkup. It was so cool because that, that clinic has got that machine, you know, you could basically see everything that is happening could basically see what the doctor is also seeing because it seems like it has a camera inside okay so when I look at it the first thing I saw when he inserted the thing in my ear was uh, at the entrance of course and it has like blood all over all over okay and then the next thing I saw was a big hole I was so shocked when I saw that one and she said that's your eardrum I really really wanted to cry at the time I was like wow I didn't just hurt my eardrum I actually smashed it the whole of it I damaged the whole eardrum of mine and I really wanted to cry at that time I just I just I just tried to be strong at the time look at the doctor and I said what should I do and she said that mm -hmm, if you have money well you have to have a surgery at once but I think like that's something that I cannot do at that time yeah and then she said you know you're hearing sounds right now and you say yeah i'm hearing it like non-stop is that that sound as if air is coming in something like that as if i'm hearing the river some something like that okay and 
she said, you know, when that sound stops, you will also lose your hearing. So it wasn't very encouraging. I wasn't very encouraged. I was like really hurt at the time already. I was so down and then hearing those things, not really helping. So I, you know, I left that. I just thanked the doctor, left her office, and I was literally crying. How would you feel if you saw this thing? I'll get this thing. I cannot take it that one of my eardrums is already like this. This is my left eardrum, which is beautiful. That's how it looks like for those who haven't seen eardrums yet. And this is my right eardrum. See what happened? It's smashed. It's destroyed. Blood everywhere. All right, so I cannot imagine that I just lost one eardrum of mine. After that, I went home and I tried to to read everything about ears. I tried to see Czech doctors, uh, ENT doctors, and I tried to see videos, watch videos about uh, people who have experienced all these things. And I've realized that a lot of people, most of the people who, have, who perforated their eardrum would actually have surgery. And a lot of people also had surgeries, but still hearing sounds after there are also people who had surgery and was very very successful because it was just hurt a little bit they just hurt a little bit of their eardrum but in my case most of the doctors were saying that it is impossible for your eardrum to grow by itself again they didn't even clean my eardrum they said we shouldn't touch that thing okay and they didn't uh, they didn't give me any you know any any medicine to take so it was like the last thing that I should be doing is to go for surgery, which is the thing that I really, really don't want to happen. So anyways, what I did was just, what else can I do but to pray? That was the best thing I did. Prayed and I prayed and I prayed and I prayed to God and just claim one of his promises in the Bible that you call unto me and I will answer thee and show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. That was the promise of God that I claimed over and over and over again. You can find that one in Jeremiah 33, 3. So I, I was just praying for miracle, really, because I don't want to do surgery. I said that if it's impossible for these doctors to, for this thing to happen, well, it's not impossible to God. Everything is possible to God. And so I prayed for miracle, I prayed for no surgery, and I prayed that my cells going to grow by itself. And within this week also, I decided to do something. I decided to change a lot of things in me because I me, I love to go to KTV and sing. All right, but this time I avoided KTVs. I avoided loud music. I avoided noisy places. And not only that, I bought this thing at once. I asked the help of my Chinese friend to buy an earplug for me. It is something I could put into my ear when I shower. I try to see to it that nothing gets into my ear. No water gets into my ear because I'm trying to avoid infection. So you see, I became more careful. Not only that, I also avoided negative people. I only talked to people who I know would, would, would encourage me instead of discourage me. And I tried not to worry a lot about this thing. I did, I did worry sometimes, but I said, no, I had to stop worrying. I had to keep good mood. I had to, I, I really want good mood every day. And I want to laugh every day. All right, so I watch a lot of videos, funny, funny videos, just to be happy. Because I know that if I'm happy, my cells are happy, and they would be happy building a new eardrum for me. It's funny, but I think it helped. Um, after a week, that was like after the week, that was, yes, after a week, I asked my friend again to, to bring me to a new doctor. Same hospital, but a new doctor. So I've been praying for that. It's like, and when, and when that thing happened, uh, well, I got this result. This is the result. See, you don't see Sally here, but it's my Chinese name. It's put Shali, so they could type a Chinese name. Uh, here, this is my left eardrum, and this is my right eardrum. See the difference? When you put it closer, you see that one. It means to say something grew already. All right, so one third of my eardrum has grown back already. 
I was super, super happy. I went announcing to my friends that, hey, look at my eardrum is getting better. God is answering my prayer and I'm so happy. And then that was the last time I saw the doctor. I was like saying that I will only go to the doctor when I am in the Philippines. By then I'm already healed. This year, 2020, I, I came home and I was planning to see an EENT. It's a doctor who checks the eyes, nose, throat, and, and ears. Okay, so um, when I was about to see an EENT, that pandemic thing happened. So all the clinics were closed, everything was closed. There's no way I could find an EENT. And I said, this thing can wait. All right, and that few days ago, most of the clinics are opening up and so I went to visit one ENT doctor and this doctor peeped into my ear and he was smiling he said all is well with your eardrum and he gave me this beautiful beautiful smile and I was like really yes all is well so I was like so so happy although I'm not surprised that all is well because months before this checkup I was feeling good already. I didn't feel any pain. I was feeling great already. I can sleep well and I can hear very well already. So I know that before I even went to the doctor, I was already healed. So isn't it very encouraging? I myself, I was, I was uh, very, very happy because that was a miracle. I just experienced miracle from God saying something that Doctors would say it's impossible to happen, it happened. And I am so happy because if it happened to me, it can also happen to anyone. See that? If I didn't have to go for a surgery, surgery is not always the option. Why don't we go to the highest doctor that we know and that's God? Why don't we consult him and claim his promises, some of his promises that he can do everything for us that if we seek him, he's going, if we seek him and if we ask something from him, he would surely give it to us. Because I know that God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So, God bless you all.